welcome to this hard surface modeling tutorial. Today we are going to create a water tap. We start with a cylinder of 24 words. Right then we create a circle, we reduce the vertices to 12, just the half of the other one. Then we rotate it on the Y axis. In edit mode we scale it down a little bit, then we press E, then right click to confirm and then S to scale them inwards just to create some faces there from the circle. And we move it out a little bit and then in the modifier panel we go to shrink wrap. We're going to add a shrink wrap to this one. Choose the target tab and click on the cylinder. Here we choose the wrap method to project and then we apply the modifier. Then we join both together by selecting first the circle and then the cylinder and pressing Ctrl J. Here we're just adding a loop card with Ctrl R and Ctrl B. And now we're going to select the faces which are with all six faces selected we press X and choose faces to delete them. Then we're just going to connect the edges so by selecting them and then pressing F. On both sides we will need uh, three loop cuts just to connect the edges. Here we just press Ctrl 2 to add the subdivision surface modifier to it. Then under the viewport overlays we check face orientation to see that we have some issues here. The faces are not showing outside which means that we have to flip our normals. We can, uh, we can achieve that by selecting all and then Go to Mesh, Normals, Recalculate Normals, or just pressing Shift N. We can uncheck face orientation again. And here we're going to select the edges from the hole and extrude them on the X axis, and then we scale them to zero on the X. Pressing S, X, and then 0 and Enter. Just uh, choose the upper face, extrude them with E. Insert a little bit to create some support edges. And then we're going to create five loop cuts here just to make our next hole. We will select these four faces insert them pressing I and then we'll need the loop tools and circle which we can um, activate under edit preferences and then add and we type in loop tools So here we're getting to some tricky part. 
what we try to achieve here is to rotate these circular vertices on the y-axis but as we can see the entire circle is twisted so what we need to do is rotate the vertices from the side view it has to be 90 degrees side view and then we press Control alt shift s minus one to get this diagonal line
finish we're just going to change our HDR image to some brighter one, white one. Reduce the strength to 0 0.5 and in the next video we're going to continue modeling the sink as we can see here. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one.